Happy Saturday, guys. And wow, one day away from Sunday church online. Don't forget to go onto our YouTube page too. It's a great way to watch church and you'll be able to live chat there too this weekend. And, and, and then there's also on our Facebook, just great opportunities. Our website also, plenty of opportunities for us. But let's throw watching parties. Let's get people involved because people need Jesus. And what a great church that we have. And we're excited. We're also going to be um, remembering those from Memorial Day and just honoring those too during Sunday. It's just going to be a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. So here we are Saturday. We're soaping the Word of God. We're looking at the Scripture, the application, the uh, observation, or the observation, I can't even spell properly, Scripture, observation, application, and prayer. How we can take all those things and make it work in our life. So today we're going to conclude our mini-series on Philippians chapter 4, and we're going to read the last verse of that chapter, verse 9. And it says, keep putting into practice all that you have learned and received from me. Everything you heard from me and saw me doing, then the God of peace will be with you. So what's the observation? We've got to put in practice the things that we have learned and received. The Bible talks about a wise and foolish man. And the Bible says the difference between them, we know, was the foundation that they built their house. One built it on the sand. One built it on the rock. The storms and the winds and the trials came. Same storm, different foundation. So different result. The wise man's house stood on the solid rock. The foolish man's house crumbled. But what made him wise and foolish? What was the difference was Jesus said those that just hear the word but don't do it. And Paul is challenging us here that not only do we need to hear the word but we need to put it into practice what we receive on Sundays and that's why it's been so good in our small groups discussing Sundays because we're getting so much out of Sundays and now it's not just a message and all that was good we're really drawing so much out of it so much more we're receiving from pastor from the word from ever we're receiving those things so we can put them into practice we're learning from those and it's so important we're not the teachers we're the learners God's the teacher. God's word is the teacher. We learn from that and we put it into practice. And it says everything you heard from me and seen me doing. It's so important that you're a godly example to those around. And also it's important that you be around godly examples. Because iron sharpeneth iron. And what do we say? And lead will take you to the bottom. If you're around the wrong people, you're going to find yourselves in the wrong places. Show me your friends and I'll show you your future. That's just how it goes. So we've got to be careful that we're the right example for people, but we've also got to be around the right example. So what's the application church? That's where we need to be. We need to be in church. We can't be physically in church, but socially we can. It's so important because church is where we learn to be a better friend, to be a better spouse, to be a better mother, father. Come on, just to be a better person. Because we can receive from everyone else around us. We can draw strength. We can learn from those. We've got so many spiritual fathers in our church. Young men and women and mothers that needed just that support. And they found it in their house. That's what's so beautiful about church. That you can learn from other people. And what you see in them, you can then begin to do in your life. Paul also said this in the Gospels or in the, one of his epistles. He said, follow me as I follow Christ. And wow, what a statement that is. Follow the example of my life. Not everyone can say that. And that's why we need to be around the right people to help us to be the right person for those around us. Think about that. I've got to be around the right people so I can be the right people for those around me or the right person for the people around me. So again, what an incredible thought there. So the application is, come on, we need to be in church. Get in church, stay in church, connect in church, because church isn't where we go, church is who we are. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you today for your goodness and mercies, the strength that you are to each and every one of our lives. And God, I thank you for the examples and those around us 
that we can draw from. I thank you for the teachings that we hear every Sunday from the pulpit and throughout the week and times. God, just leading us. And God, I thank you, God, that Encounter Church is a safe place where we can come and know that we're being taught the word of God. And we can take that teaching. We can take your word. We can apply it to our lives because we're going to love the results it brings. So God, I pray each and every one of us, help us, God, to live out that life. Help us to surround ourselves with the right people and help us to be the right person for those who are surrounded around us. Lead us and guide us, we pray. And God, we pray, put your head, your protection all around us. Keep us safe. Keep all harm from us. We love you. We praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Guys, we look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Church Online, 9 and 11, we're talking about how to deal with difficult people. And I know you've probably got some in your life. How can, we, how can they bring stress to our life and how we can get the stress out? And God's word will give us the hope that we need for that. Have a great rest of your weekend and we'll see you tomorrow. God bless. Bye.